Hey, what's up? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I just seen a interview that Denzel Washington gave to some fucking dude that was interviewing him at a uh, either a movie premiere or an awards banquet of some sort. Anyways, a uh, the video on YouTube is titled Denzel Washington on Black Lives Matter. You guys should watch that. It's pretty tight. Um, anyways, uh, people need to start paying attention to the world around them. You know what I mean? We could listen all we want to to shit, but unless we look at shit and we see shit there ain't nothing gonna change nothing at all the whole uh injustices towards blacks i've seen that i know that i've knew that existed for a long time this is nothing new but i see it i've seen it i've seen it there's a lot of people that have not seen it oh shit what's up with this shit right here there's a group of cops right here hold up they're sweating everybody in the area because Antifa's in full effect out here. So they're riding like tripled up. I would too. I would stack civilians in the police cars. So those uh, fucking psycho fucking radical groups trying to get at these cops. I'll sit in that car. I'll take a bullet. Hoping it's a good cop. I know there's bad cops. But anyways, back to the back to this shit, bro. Um. Anyways, I don't know everything about Black Lives Matter uh, groups. We all know Black Lives Matter for sure without a doubt 100%. But coming from my view where I've seen it, like I know for a fucking fact without a fucking doubt that there's been massive amounts of injustices towards blacks. Without a doubt, I've been in the trenches with blacks, not a lot. Because where I grew up, there wasn't a lot. But say, for example, there was one black dude. You know what I mean? And uh, gang of fools from the area. And some of these were some of my friends I knew since I was a little ass. Little ass fat boy running around the block. Um, if people turned on him because he was black and started like getting all crazy and shit like that, I would turn around and I would have that fool's back. Like, it wouldn't go down like that. I wouldn't give a fuck if I got my ass whooped or whatever. Still don't understand it and not trying to say I understand what they go through I just know that it exists but I also see the other side where people don't understand why people say all lives matter is because anything that's ever been there has been kind of like I guess you could say like infiltrated or somebody else jumps off the back of the blacks and what they're trying what point they're trying to make um the civil rights movement was fucking hijacked years later by a fucking by the gay community, not saying bad, nothing bad about. It. I'm not saying oh fucking like anti-gay shit. I'm just saying a large, large, large fucking percentage of the gay community fucking hijacked the civil rights movement from that. When what you guys had to face was the same fucking thing that blacks had to face or anybody else had to face struggles. Like we all had struggles and. One thing that we did all have in common is we all had the, the ability to get the fuck out of where we were at. You know what I mean? I know like 60, 70, 60 and 70 year old black folks that are rich as fuck. And they went through that. They were in areas like fucking ducking and dodging and hiding from getting fucking strung up. You know, these are the real deal motherfuckers that was in the struggle and they're rich as fuck right now. You know what I mean? Not all of them, but the ones that was like, you know what? I heard of this place over here that it, it ain't like that. Most of them's over there fucking whatever. You know, these are stories I heard, you know, from these dudes. Because I would hit them up. Wait a minute, bro. Like, I got everybody in my ear about white people's evil and cops are evil. I never bought that because I've seen good and bad cops. I've seen good and bad white people. I've seen good and bad black people good and black Mexican people and what I've seen that has happened is that while you might have a community in Georgia or Florida or 
North Carolina, Philadelphia. Like you, you have all these different communities, but if people don't get out of those communities and see what's going on in other places, you're not going to see what people are talking about. If you listen to the news, the news, they fucking straight fucking demonized Hollywood fucking straight used fucking black people for a multitude of issues they use them to make themselves look better they use them to make blacks feel like they need to call themselves black and live that black lifestyle and fucking uh, psychologically fucking enslave black people I seen this shit and I know motherfuckers that was all up in their room and they fucking hated every fucking thing especially themselves I seen that shit seen it when I heard it I seen that shit and I pull those motherfuckers out and be like fuck that shit let's go bro where are we going where are we going I got this one dude I met at work he was like that he was a shelter in for sure black fool that was all up on the computer I forgot why I ended up going to his spot one time and instantly I knew he was always in his fucking house he was kind of weird at work too where he was kind of quiet and like like that, so I was always the type to approach those kind of people because I don't, you know what I mean? Shit was crazy and you never know, but I did it mostly out of the kindness of my heart, plus just for like, to see what's up with somebody. But anyways, I told him, let's go, we're getting the fuck out of here. Oh, where are we going? What are you, like he was kind of nervous. I said, we're gonna go kick it with some skinheads real quick. Some skinhead fools that I know. Some white power fools, and then we're gonna go kick it with some black folk that I know that went through this shit you know and he went because he trusted me I didn't even know him that long and he trusted me but uh, we went and talked to a couple people and he seen too he seen it with his eyes that damn even those symbols and all this shit that people got he went in there walked out there was a little bit of arguing you know what I mean? Back and forth. That was cool. I like that. I didn't think he was that type where he would talk shit in a circle of white boys. You know what I mean? So for him, who knows? He could have been thinking in his head that, oh, man, I was cool with this white boy. And he's bringing me in here to the fucking trap. He's setting me up. Who knows what was going through his head? Um, but he's he talked. We talked. We talked. And... He got his shit across, they got their shit across, so he understood why uh, people don't buy into the struggle completely because every single fucking time that blacks need their voice to be heard, Hollywood jumps on that shit, media jumps on that shit, fucking white people jump on that shit, and to be honest with you, most of those white people that are genuine acting like they're genuine there to fucking help you guys and they're crying and showing you their tears in the house when they're by themselves dude they're some of the most racist ass fucking white people you know the ones that are going to be honest with black folk that's the ones that you know you don't have to like them you don't have to kick it with them but what everybody needs to understand is the thing that made the u.s cool as fuck is that everybody we got everybody from everywhere here you know what i mean I've been in Compton and South Central and all that shit during, like, the late 80s and early 90s just because of people I knew from where I grew up at. (laughs) And, uh, I didn't even feel weird at all. Like, it was just like I was one of them, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't do the best I could have done to make, like, one or two blacks that was in the area as I was growing up feel the same. That's my bad. But I was trying to learn at that time. I was a little ass kid, you know? So that's it. Like, I I'm, I wasn't perfect or anything like that. Blacks weren't perfect either. There was times I walked through a neighborhood that was mostly black and I got fucked up because I was a white boy. And I understood. I understood why I got fucked up instantly. While I was getting fucked up, before I got fucked up, when I knew I was going to get fucked up, I knew exactly why it was happening. I understood it. And I fucking threw up my hands and I was like, what's up? Threw out a derogative real quick because I didn't give a fuck. Because when I was pushed to fight for the white race because I was a white boy, fuck, yeah, I did that shit. Just like a lot of blacks are doing that right now. We get pushed into something because we are put in situations and we have no choice. So 
the battles we end up fighting have nothing to do with the cause of why we're fighting. You know what I mean? We think they do because everybody around us is telling us this shit. Like the media fucking feeds and feeds and feeds and feeds and feeds and feeds that you're the fucking track star. You're the best track star there is. or And it makes that shit unreachable. Or that you're the crip or you're the blood. You know? Or that you're fucking high and mighty and better than everybody else because you're black. And you went through some struggles. You know? But the ones I met that actually went through the struggles, they, they ain't all hung up on that shit about what this person did or what that person did before they were born. Uh... They told me, fuck, you know as much as I do about the struggles that my ancestors went through. You know what I mean? So I don't give a fuck. You, when people let the message be diluted, they're even losing black people. And I think it's important that they pay attention to that shit, you know, for certain reasons. And one of the reasons is because a lot of black people didn't even ever think about owning guns. You know what I mean? They never thought, like, oh, I need to go buy a pistol. And go buy a knife and a backpack and a first aid kit and fucking go hiking and fucking get to know my surrounding areas and get to know, you know, the environment and get to know how to use weapons, how to live off the land. You know, they never, a lot of the ones I met was never like that, like like a survivalist or just to get to know your surroundings, like shit we used to do, you know camping and all that shit before the fucking Democrats gave all the public land away to fucking stupid shit. But, uh, there's struggles you guys, like, blacks will face that they don't even realize they're facing. You know what I mean? And they think they're in that because that's told to them. It's just instilled, 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 instilled. But then it's also instilled from the same exact that same exact segment on the news that you'll watch it will do everything. It will vic- it'll victimize the blacks while criminalizing the blacks, while putting the blacks up on a pedestal, while putting cops up on a pedestal by tearing them off the pedestal. It does everything in that same segment now. It's crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but people just got to pay attention. And they need to really, really pay attention to what the media says there's times where the media you'll be watching something live like these protests you can watch them live on the news or you could go to them they're everywhere which is a good thing for you to get in there and get to know the difference between reality and what the media is doing right watching them on the news and what i'm watching with my eyes instead of staring at my phone and listening to what they're saying um i'm watching the tv live and they're completely fucking not telling the truth of what's going. They're saying Black Lives Matter protesters are breaking windows while it's some fucking Antifa fool. I'd be tired if that was an Antifa fool right there. We've been on the Antifa hunt for years, not just recently. Scoop those motherfuckers up. But anyways, uh, what the fuck was I saying right now? Um, oh, so we'll be watching that shit and finally, finally, I'm starting to see on the news a black girl yelling at him. What the fuck are you guys doing? We don't want that shit. Who told you to do that? And it's what looks like two white people spray painting shit and all this and that stuff. Yeah, a lot of them are white. A lot of the Antifa fools are white. But the ones leading their charge is from out of country. They're like the one I snatched this fool up the other day. We jerked him around me in some essays that I know. Jerked him around a building into an alleyway in L.A., so we could interrogate this fool. And it was within seconds that fool was wanting to barf because of pain. And uh, we knew we had to get him quick because Antifa was slick, dude, in a pack. Them motherfuckers, one will come in, do one little thing to get you, like, as soon as you start paying attention to what he's doing, then another one comes. Like, this one fool, dude, he walked out. He went in there for, like, 10 seconds in the fray with these Antifa fools and walked out, stuck with the fucking needle. Missing part of his lip, missing a finger, and 
I don't know what the fuck happened to his body, but he was in massive amount of pain inside his body. I don't know what they hit him with. And you couldn't, you couldn't even figure out what the fuck, who it was doing it because they would like do like a stick and move mode, like where they came in a line, like probably three to five seconds, one after the other and just dot, 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 dot and I didn't know what happened. But that's what's happening if you're out there, you know what I mean? And these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about black fools. They're using the black voice to distort it. And that's why other people will say all lives matter because they're getting fucking pissed off because they think black lives matter is breaking windows. They think all this other shit that they're seeing on the media that's supposed to be your friend, the same media that told you Trump was a racist is the one saying that. I didn't like Trump in the beginning. I was I was done. I was like, fuck, man. First we have Barack in there. And I knew in the beginning of Barack that he became president because he was black. I knew that because I talked to black people and said, what the fuck are you voting for this fool for? What is his experience? What is his experience that got him here? They straight up, hell yeah, I'm voting for that motherfucker because he's black. And I'm like, cool, all right. It's kind of a blessing because now you're going to be able to see that for ain't going to do shit for you. He already proved he ain't going to do nothing for the black community with, where he was in control before. That shit got fucked up. You know what I mean? That shit was fucked up. They were, he didn't do a motherfucking thing for the black community and then that motherfucker became a millionaire. What the fuck? Like, this shit, if you see what the fuck goes on instead of trying to listen, like, if you just listen and you're all through Instagram and shit, read that shit over and over before you go jumping to conclusions and using your emotions. The media, it's completely obvious, dude. And then I'm in a protest then I watched that same exact protest that I was just in and I seen all that shit and I was in there. The way they report that shit is totally different from what the fuck really happened on the ground. Plus, we all know media personnel don't in any way, shape, or form uh, relate to any of us. Any of us. It's like they're on a different fucking planet. But the minute they talk about something hateful or something that people want to hear, it doesn't need to be the truth or a fact or anything like that. Just as somebody wants to hear something, they're going to buy it. It doesn't matter if it's true. So we could keep this repetitive cycle going where people don't understand. The reason people say all lives matter is because they see black lives matter is that people breaking windows, spray painting shit, fucking beating up a white dude around the corner. You know what I mean? Slicing him up. Uh, they see... Uh, I don't even know. There's a black ex-cop that got shot trying to protect his homie's fucking shot. That's some stupid shit. And we all know that wasn't Black Lives Matter that did that shit. That was some other entity. There's other groups and they're trying to start shit so it dilutes the message. Nobody's gonna hear Black Lives Matter. Well, people do because there's people that grew up and seen that shit firsthand. So I could see through all that bullshit and be there just for that. But I also understand this other stuff sir, and I'm trying to tell you guys that the reason other people keep saying all lives matter is because of that. Because of that. Because there's nobody denouncing all these other people and shit. And there's people letting that shit happen. You know what I mean? We need to start communicating with each other. Going, like, go to... We need to get together face-to-face -face and talk about the shit. Share information. I got deep information that goes back far as fuck. We, I know about Antifa when I was 12 years old. You know, because my dad did his job as a Marine and as a fucking civilian. He did his fucking job. He didn't just do it with me. He did it with everybody I was around, all the neighbors, and this all a bunch of essays. You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of them thought he was a wacko. He didn't do it like a conspiracy theorist guy. He just, in the time when they were partying together, getting fucked up and kicking it, he would bring this shit up. And he happened to have, like, top security clearance, you know, whatever. All that crazy shit with what he was doing. He never told me anything about anything, but he told me what to look out for. And when this happens, this, when this happens, do this. When this happens, do this. And he's, and I'm fucking point. I'm just glad he's not here to see this shit. You know what I mean? Like Joe Biden, for example. Joe Biden, after Rodney King got beat, Joe Biden tried to push forward a proposal that would have protected cops like that and just, they would have swept that shit under the rug. So they couldn't get prosecuted. And that shit got turned down. Uh, Kamala Harris. She. Turned down a bill that would have. 
made it mandatory for all police shootings to be investigated by the attorney general. You know what I mean? You look at the circles, you look at who, look at the media, all 100%, everybody knows they're saying all this shit about Trump. I was not a Trump guy, dude, I was not, but just like Barack Obama, I wasn't a Barack Obama guy at first. Then when I seen what he was trying to do, I supported him, that was my president, 100%. Fuck yeah, Obama was my president, I don't give a fuck. But I supported him, and what I noticed is Republicans would fucking shut down fucking anything, it didn't matter, and that was some stupid bullshit, right? This shit I noticed way back then, so it's not anything new. Nobody's talking about that shit. I, I haven't even heard anybody talk about the Republicans fucking blocking all the Obama shit. So all you right-wing fucking motherfuckers, just as guilty. Your leadership is just as guilty as these fucking Democrats. But anyways, now the Democrats just bombard this shit. The Russian thing, it's been proven for a fucking fact that it was actually them that did weird shit like that. Hillary sold uranium to fucking... Uh, the fucking, ah, what the fuck? Oh, the Ukrainians. That's a weapon right there. You know what I mean? Line her pockets. All these Democrats, what they do is become millionaires while they fuck their fucking areas up. Republicans, yeah, they become millionaires too. And yeah, they're crooked as fuck. But they're doing more. You know what I mean? They're doing way more. And regardless of anything, none of them are good enough to run the great people of this United States, and that's all of us, that's the Indians, that's blacks, that's somebody from fucking Somalia, somebody from Nigeria, somebody from Haiti, I know motherfuckers from all these places, you know what I mean, those redneck fools, rednecks are tight as fuck, dude, you guys gotta fucking roll up and just talk, just talk, that's it, you know, there's some, rednecks are fucking hilarious, dude, and you rednecks, bro, Talking that whole Mexican shit in their fucking our country, that's all a line of bullshit. Mexicans are tight as fuck, and just for your information, rednecks and paisas, paisa is a border brother, like he's a homie, he's the Mexican fool that's from Mexico. A paisa and a redneck, identical motherfuckers. You guys eat all the same nasty shit, you guys do all the same crazy fucking wild outlandish fucking bullshit, and y'all love guns, you know what I mean? You guys got to mix and mingle, bro, because the media and the DNC is just ragtagging us this time, you know? And it's so obvious that all this shit is true, what I'm saying right now. And if you want to hate, that's cool. Go ahead and hate. That's your right. But we need to take this shit back this time. Like, this is all the other times we just was like, fuck it. And it wasn't that we forgot about the injustices or the bad shit that happened. We just prepared more and prepared more and prepared more and prepared more. So if they were successful at creating a race war, which they obviously are never going to be able to create. Uh, and we all know there's a lot of us that know the race wars was supposed to. That was a plan from way back. They had this plan against keeping blacks down. And then they were supposed to start a race war to fucking keep them in check. That's all real shit. It's never going to fucking happen, dude, because... It's not. It ain't never going to happen. It's not because, oh, blacks are so strong they can defeat this shit themselves. It's because we're in this together. Like, we don't hate black people. You know what I mean? There's hardcore fucking skinhead fools that fuck with blacks on the street. When we go to jail, whenever we go to jail, we just politic. We got to do that shit. You know what I mean? Why? I don't know. I went to jail on the East Coast and it wasn't like that. But... Yeah, we need to stop politicking, dude, and we need to get this shit straight, bros, 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 and brothers, and sisters, and all this shit. We got Antifa, all of us, all black of us, white of us, who cares? We all need to kick them motherfuckers up out, and that's a wrap. Like, we need to get them motherfuckers out, and then we could deal with each other. If we want to fight, we'll fight. If we want black and white groups want to fight each other right now, fucking handle it, bro. I don't see none of you guys putting it down. Set a time and a date. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know? Talk is talk, but fucking, I, I'm a veteran of the race wars, dude, and all of the people I will fight are my fucking, those are my homies. I know I could walk right up in their shit and I'll be straight. You know? Same thing with me. They could walk up in my shit and they'd be straight. I see them as Americans. I see blacks as Americans. I see fucking. If I see somebody jumping the wall from Mexico to here, that's an American now. 
I don't give a fuck about his paperwork. You know what I mean? We all we all gotta fix this shit. Our leadership is lying to us, all of them. Are. It's not just the left, just the right, but the left is the one that's the evil ones that are trying to bring in communism. So we need to stop that shit. All right, folk. All right, fam. And fam, if you watching this, yeah, fucking, what's up, dog? I'm your enemy. Fuck all that shit. If you want me to be, I will be. But I got bigger fish to fry, just like you do too. And you could keep working for your master if you want to and believe all that black bullshit and all that fucking all that kill whitey bullshit but it ain't never gonna work my bad there's only like a thousand of you out there in the whole world and that's not enough alright peeps peace out good luck Get into the protests and learn shit. Don't, you know, whatever. For whatever your purpose is, but go do intel. And you're going to see everything I said is true. Somebody try to doubt me. Tell me I'm wrong. And if you guys need proof, uh, I got shit where it proves my dad during, uh, after Vietnam, they drove. He found out that blacks had to drive back to Camp Pendleton from Camp Lejeune. This was during the heat of the civil rights movement. And he got pissed off. He was like, fuck that shit these fools i'm here because of these black motherfuckers right here so i'm gonna drive back with these fools not only that we're gonna stop at all these southern bars and mrs hippie and these different places we're gonna fuck motherfuckers up what's up my dad did that shit he didn't give a fuck neither did those other they were crazy as fuck too you know and uh, shit our bloodline goes back to the middle of the 1800s fighting for injustices against people you know specifically blacks because they've been going through this shit for a long time but you guys got to understand, too, there's blacks that are millionaires, bro. They're 80 years old, and they grew up in that shit that you guys complain about, and you didn't grow up in that shit. So that's what dilutes it. I understand that there's a psychological fucking part of it. I see that 100%. I see the injustices towards blacks today. Today, I know it exists. But the reason it's diluted and people don't understand it and it ain't going to fix it this time or any other time is because you guys let it get diluted because you say fuck whites and fuck cops and like you're against all cops or against all whites. That shit don't work. If we wanna work this out together, we need to start talking about this shit. Face to face, you know what I mean? So everybody knows everything's real, you know? All right, peace out. Peace out, dogs.